We are coming back online, but I don't know. I think it's YouTube today. Honestly, I don't think it's my internet connection. I'm going to tell you why. It's throwing these weird errors at me today with uh, regards to microphones. Um, every time I try to tell it which microphone to use, it freaks out. And I have to type in the live setting all over again. So, I'm thinking that the whole buffering thing could be a part of like a YouTube glitch and maybe not my fault. Either way, I'm going to run the Ethernet cable, I think, and get the, yay, hello, um, connection back uh, to where Wi-Fi is not really an issue um, here and it's running straight from the box. But um, in the meantime, can you hear me okay? Because it's not on the microphone that I told it to originally. And I'm thinking it might be trying to use the microphone on the back. Okay, you can hear me. All right, so it might be using the right microphone. It just might. I guess since they changed how they do their lives and you don't have to go through a, a streaming service anymore, um, they're probably working out all the little kinks and the bugs. Uh, with going live straight from YouTube, so I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it is a YouTube issue. Anyway, it's like once it got to that hour mark on both of my lives, like it was it all was fine and good, and then you start to get really close to an hour, and it started to freak out. So I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna. I think I am going to outline these letters and make them look a little cleaner. Let's see. I may just do like the black. I don't know. I'm going to do it this way and then we'll see what we like. I think I still might put the drop shadow in with the gray combo in a second, but we'll see. And that gives them some pop. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. See, and it says it was still recording over there on my computer. So that last couple of minutes will be hopefully on the replay. Because, yeah, it said it was still going. I don't know. Hopefully it will work itself out. A little bit further over hey. <laughs> than I wanted to, but okay. That'll be all right. I'm gonna make it work. Once we get all these letters done, we can do our walrus. So excited about my walrus. December. <laughs> Empty journals always are. They crave to be used and loved. Okay, you can really see it. Oh, you can re really see it. Oh, it looks better. There we go. Just need a little contrast. All right. Let's see January happen here. And January. There we go. See, I like a new journal too. It's like full of 
possibilities. I, I, I like it, but it's intimidating, like, all at the same time. I have mixed emotions about new journals. Um, I like them at certain points. Um, I don't like to start in the middle of things. So if it's the beginning of something, when I can jump in and get started with something fresh, it doesn't, um, it doesn't bother me too bad, but if it were to start like mid month, if I needed to start mid month, it would drive me crazy. I would have to set up all my monthly pages all over again. Start with something that could go with anything. Black and white will go with anything, and then you could color around something later. I'm sorry, Mikey. <laughs> it was a hassle. I know it was. So I've added this little section to my weekly spreads again. I used to do this in parts of my digital planner, but I want to set up the three main projects that I'm working on for the week and track how far I got in those projects. Um, I'm sort of digging the idea of writing these big words in here again and using more of the task list for the day-to-day -day things instead of migrate and migrate and migraine and then journaling and doing some basic tasks or more broken down tasks on the next page. So I kind of want my weekly spread to go back to being a little a little function, but a little decorative too. You can't do a digital journal whatsoever. Oh, come on. Sure you can. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and instead of using like a digital planner planner, I have one that's just like a journal, like nothing but blank dot grid pages. I'm going to go fill that one up um, with like the digital pages that I set up each month. Like everybody on my Patreon um, page got all of the monthly pages this month they got this and a black and white copy they got the monthly spread the words of the day spread the sky and moon spread and then the habits and intentions um spreads as well in the monthly setup printable so i think i'm going to take and put all of those in my digital journal um, and use that for my um, financial stuff that i don't put in this one because i mean y'all see my journal every day and I guess our finances are sort of, you know, private. So are a couple of little private things and then some like editorial planning and things like that. That's what I keep in my digital planner. Um, but y'all see the majority of it. Um, things like that. And like big projects, I like break them down. But see, now that I'm using one journal for everything, I don't even know if I'm going to use that in my digital digital journal which is why I don't really want a planner planner I just want the it looks exactly like a bullet journal except for the fact that it's digital all right hello Gina. I don't know if we <laughs> The Polish lady is giving me a 15 milliliter too with vermilion. Isn't that nice? Oh, awesome. Let's see. <laughs> love the baby pink. Oh, yeah, I love the baby pink one too. Let's see, and I think. I'm going to do something like that now um, for the kids' schedules. I'm just going to have them load that into like a Google Calendar or something. And I might keep some of that stuff in my digital planner. But it's really for the crap that I don't really, that's all function and no, no decoration. Hello, Judy. She made two fifty three off me. She should give me another couple too. She totally should, Mikey. She should throw like five different freebies in there. All right, we're gonna write Happy New Year down here. Probably won't be working a whole heck of a lot that day. 
so I made it nice and big so that I don't fill my day up with things that I'm never going to do anyway. Happy. Here. Yeah, we did New Year's Eve and then the stinking longer. We're all excited for him. I know we are. I think I wrote this too well. I'm going to have to pull it up. See how my line sort of going through it here. V got away from me, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm doing a live that night, your afternoon. On New Year's? On Tuesday? I will, oh, I need five people to remind me. 2.30 on Tuesday. Uh, 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 the buffer. You know what? I don't even know. I don't know what it is. All right, I'm going to get rid of all my pencil lines except for my walrus. I can't make any promises because Tuesday is going to be a little bit crazy for me, but I will try to make it for part of it at least. I don't have to go to the grocery store. I did that today. I bought all of Walmart. Okay. I will April. I got doctor's appointments tomorrow, and I'm packing and shipping tomorrow because I got several orders that need to go out. But I'm hoping to get most of those done tonight um, and take them with me tomorrow. But I don't know. Y'all will get to see the Happy New Year in 2019. I don't know if I told y'all that, that I'm going to make it public. Um, where'd they go? I'm going to make those public, that video public on Tuesday because I don't have another video coming out until Friday. But Happy New Year and 2019 Words of the Year are coming out on Tuesday. So y'all can see me set those up. My patrons can already see it. Uh, you guys are totally up my butt. Oh. <laughs> Groceries too, I mean, I mean, I bought like $300 worth of groceries and and an instant pot i got an instant pot like i'm not even kidding like you're gonna have to send me all your favorite instant pot things i'm so stinking excited this is how you know that i'm old because i have not been so excited about anything in a while other than my ipad than i am about my stinking instant pot it is like a cross between it's like a pressure cooker it's like a speedy slow cooker <laughs> three hundred dollars you i mean you don't understand i have got five 15 to 20 year olds in this house then me and then andy i mean that three hundred dollars will get me through about a week and a half i'm i'm still have to go back oh i need oh i saw it it looks so nice i need another fridge because i don't even have enough space in my fridge to hold the crap that i need to feed this family a speedy slow cooker <laughs> like everything that you can make in the slow cooker you can make in an instant pot um it's like a freaking pressure cooker uh at home pressure cooker oh my god I, I mean, I looked up recipes. I'm going to make pho on um, someday. I'm going to make all kinds of crap. You can make stinking yogurt in it. I mean, you can do that in a slow cooker. But, I mean, you can make all kinds of crap in it. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. But that should definitely tell you I'm not a kid anymore. I get more excited over kitchen appliances than anybody ever has the right to. All right, it's time to do this stinking walrus. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. 
I'm going to do the outline first. I don't know why I like that better, but I do. I'm going to get concentrated making my walrus. Yeah, it is a redesigned pressure pressure cooker. It's, oh, I'm so excited. Y'all don't even know. You need to make lasagna rolls? That sounds freaking awesome. What is that? You're going to have to friend me on Facebook and send me that. <laughs> it is more like a pressure cooker than a slow cooker, although it does have a slow cooker option. And I got like the big boy, too. Not the, the regular everybody round one. I got the big one. Oh, so I'm so stinking excited. I don't even know. But yeah, like friend me on Facebook and um send whatever that was on your roll thingy is to me. Um, I need like all the recipes. I got on um just before the first live, the patron hangout earlier, and was looking at recipes, and I'm like, oh, my mouth was watering. I'm like getting hungry right now. And he needs to get back and make my chili. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. If you saw my Insta stories last night, he made not Christmas dinner last night um, because we do snacks with my mom for Christmas. Christmas, so we have like little cocktail weenie things, like sausages, and then we have sausage rolls and sausage balls and chips and dips and all kinds of good mess. That's what we eat on um, Christmas in like my family. We had the big, huge meal on Thanksgiving with my family. Um, but we made a second Thanksgiving here like a week later. And he made not Christmas last night. And I had a ham with pineapples and cherries all over it. And he made a turkey breast. And we had mac and cheese from scratch, not the box. And um, mashed potatoes from scratch, from real potatoes. And what else do we have? Ooh, deviled eggs, because those are my favorite. That's my jam right there. I could eat a jillion of them. But, <laughs> um, let's see. Let's try to find leftover pasta. My friend who went to the Polaris Christmas Guild would love to order pasta. Oh, ate it all by <laughs> honey I can put away some food too I am not even scared I like to eat I enjoy food <laughs> I love legs oh, I will put away some food in a heartbeat ooh a Mexican chicken that sounds yummy oh you give me some turkey I could definitely put that away was that my sister on my vlogmas? Yes, she found that mouth thing far too funny. She was really, she's crazy. Y'all think I'm crazy. I'm the same one of the sisters because she is freaking nuts. She she saw that I was doing the vlogs and she was like, um, I'll notice, I've noticed that you have not mentioned me yet. I, I have not been brought up in a single one. I'm like, you know what? You can make a stinking cameo then on the Vlogmas with Christmas Day in it since you're going to be around. And so I made sure to include plenty of her so she can't ever say that again. But yes, that was my sister and my niece, her little girl, Kira. Um, so that was them. And then you saw my mother had the shorter hair. And one of her sisters, my Aunt Sharon, um, in that video, hanging out on Christmas. So, I have a really, really small family. I mean, that's almost the extent of it. There are like 20 people total in my family. Whereas, I swear, half of Andy's brothers and sisters, which he's got a whole bunch of them half of his brothers and sisters have like seven eight nine children of their own I don't I just I'd lose my flipping mind I don't even know how they do it <laughs> um I have a yeah there's like 20 whole people in my whole family um speaking of being old now I should pay for Christmas the scissors just 27 refused Oh my God, stop, you're turning into an old lady. 
can play their song in the bathroom. <laughs> Correction was redundant. <laughs> yes, they are all old ladies. I'm thrilled to death over my instant pot. We're talking about washi tape. We're all in here journaling. We're all old ladies. We'll get over it. Um. See, it's just me and my sister. Like my mom has two sisters. Um, the generations before them were a lot bigger, but my mom has two sisters. And I have one sister. I have exactly one niece, and that's it. Yes, that is the niece that I did the crochet blankets for, for her birthday. She is seven. That is my Kira. I have got my, um, the aunt that is, or, yeah, that, that is in the, the vlog this video. She never got married. She never had kids or anything like that. So she spoils all the grandchildren or her nieces and nephews and all of her great nieces and nephews um the other sister who is not in vlogmas uh she has a boy and a girl and each of them have two kids so but that's it that's it um uh, my grandfather passed a couple of, of years ago and um so i've got my grandmother who is 89 now and she was like i'm not leaving my house y'all can come and see me so we went and saw her uh, <laughs> at her house um but before that she would she was at all of the others it's time to color the walrus but that's it there's nobody else in my family i mean i've got my dad and my stepmother who you also saw and my stepmother has a bunch of she has like three kids and they have a bunch of children who have started producing grand great grandchildren or grandchildren i don't know but i don't really know any of them they all live far away no one's here in town, and I've never really seen them, despite the fact that my dad and my stepmother have been together for, like, 20 years. So, I just, I really don't know them. You're a spring chicken. Hell yeah, you are, Mary. You are a spring chicken. This year, I turned 50, and you're officially calling it. I, I started counting backwards. You know, you can avoid that entirely if you start counting backwards. You can avoid 50. You can avoid 67. I, oh crap. I'm going to be 39 in March, but I, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to start counting backwards after that. I'm never going to hit 40. It's not going to happen. I refuse. All right. Find the watercolor. <laughs> you don't feel old. Into, yeah. Oh my God. My niece got a freaking hoverboard. I'm so glad that nobody got that on camera, by the way, for Christmas. Um, one of those spinny deal thingies, and I got reminded exactly how old my butt was uh, when I got on that and about broke my neck. I twisted the crap out of my knee, though. <laughs> it was bad. And then Andy was sitting inside, and he came out that uh, my mother's door, and he was like, get your butt off that thing. I saw that. I'm like, I'm just glad that you didn't get a camera out in time. All right. I don't know what brush I'm going to use. Probably not this one because no matter how big the space is, this is my favorite brush. This one. All right. So this has got some cool browns in it. And I'm going to use. She's not me. That was a few years ago. 35. No. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't have my little swatch thingy out, so we're going to have to find out what color these are. Might be. It's like an orangey brown. Let's see what this one looks like. I don't believe that he just went for gas because, you know what? The gas station is a quarter of a mile down the stinking road, and they're not back yet. Maybe they're testing the brakes. I don't know what they're doing. I don't have to yell at him. I want my... I don't know which brown I want. We'll figure it out. It'll be okay. Water that down a little bit. Water this one down a little bit. That looks more orange than it does brown. We're going to try this one. So this is the Pastel Dreams. 
giant see me open it the pastel dreams from prima Oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> the flowers is up on brows. I mean, he has to have eyebrows. I mean, how could he not have eyebrows? So I'm going to get lost in watercolor world. Forty was twenty. <laughs> oh, my body's been falling apart for years, so I'm used to it. I was old at twenty-five, so I just keep a young attitude, and there you have it. I need some. I've also got this Jane Davenport. Um, palette over here. I don't know which one this one is. It's the more natural colors or whatever. I think this is tan. Sort of sandy color. Which just came out a lot more yellow than I remember. Um, let's see what it looks like. I'm lighten him up on this side a little bit. And then Darken up. I'll we'll see how that looks. I could come in here once it dries and start putting in some shadows. It is a neutral palette. Okay. I couldn't remember because, you know, that new one is called something weird because, you know, Jane can't just be normal. She has to be extra. So it's called the Glit C package or palette or whatever. So I didn't know if this one had a, I thought, yeah, I thought that the first one was brights and then the natural palette, but I wasn't 100% sure and I didn't want to lie to nobody. <laughs> okay. Let's get some color happening here. I keep wondering what this little noise is, but it's because my fan is off that I can hear my ceiling fan out here going, and I think. Yep, that's what the noise is. It's been bugging the crap out of me. I'm like, what is that noise? Which is probably too faint for any of y'all to hear and tell me what that noise was. But I figured it out. Now I hear some kind of squeaking noise coming from, I think it might be in the house. I don't know what Brittany's doing in there by herself. I'm a little scared to go back in there now. She is literally the only other person here right now. And besides the animals, and I don't know what she's doing, but I heard some weird squeak come from the house. Yeah, he needs some more color. He needs to be darker. You were lurking the whole time. <laughs> Don't lurk. Talk to us. We love you. We love all of your faces and everything. You don't have to be shy. Oh, the boys are back. Which means they didn't wreck, which is awesome. Um... I think there are little kids outside playing somewhere because now I keep hearing that squeaking noise and I don't think it's coming from inside my house. 
Oh, I see them. I'm talking like y'all can see them, but y'all can't see them. They're not here. Even if they were here, you still can't see them. All you can see is my wall room. All right, time to darken him up. <laughs> it was, you know, uh, little things like that. Oh, uh, y'all can hear that they're back now. Little things like that bug the crap out of me. If I hear something, I can't figure out what I'm hearing. Will drive me crazy until I figure it out. I need a darker brown. This one is supposed to be a dark brown. Aww. Oh, you too, Mikey. Happy New Year. Have fun. I'm going to darken some of these shadows up a little bit. And then I'm going to go in, I think, with this darker brown and see how that works out. I am so not a watercolor artist. I really am not. I just like playing with it. I don't even know how to... There was a Skillshare class that just opened up the beginning watercolors, and I think I need to take it because I really don't know what I'm doing. I just play. Who needs classes? Not me. We wing it around here. I'm going to hear the dogs bark. Dustin's outside looking at me funny. Brakes all good, baby. Brakes is all good. Truck's running good. Tires are aired up. That's freaking awesome. I am. Oh, I like him. You like my walrus? I like him. Aw, oh, and the cute. It looks like me. Aw. I'm so cute. You are so cute. You're so stinking cute. I can't even stand it. Yes, I did. I'm about to go in and take a shower and clean up and then uh, start uh, cooking dinner. You're awesome. I love him to bed. And then you're going to uh, come in and do laundry, right? Yes, I will do laundry as soon as I get in. Right. Justin's laundry is in with our laundry. We need All to. Right, yeah, um, he put his pants and stuff in there. Clear out that white basket, or I'll do it. Um. And uh, you can give that basket to him. Well, hurry up. There'll be plenty. We're having chili. It's so good. I could eat it like every day. I really could. It's so stinking good. I love it so much. I love my man. And yes, if you're, if you're just thinking to yourself, is he actually good at everything? Just yes, <laughs> it is. I can cook. I can clean. He he can clean too. He's an awful clean man, and that's a bonus as well. I just I tell y'all what I won the freaking husband lottery. I really did. Like I got me a good one. I'm keeping him. Y'all can't have mine. He cooks. He cleans. He smells nice all the time, except for probably right now where he smells like brake fluid. But other than that. <laughs> It's freaking awesome. He gets me electronics and he takes, he braids my hair and takes good care of me. Ugh, you know, I don't even know what to tell you. I might have found the very best one ever. <laughs> See, we don't, we don't make it too, too hot because I can't, I can't do hot. High chili standards. I need to lighten this brown some. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not gonna. Not gonna oh it. yes, chili's got to have beans, and I put noodles in my chili too. He does put noodles in it. Well, when we didn't have beans in the last batch that you made, mm -mm. so you could do it with or without the beans, 
it's basically lots of chili powder, a little chili seasoning, um, some hamburger, like minced hamburger, and um, tomato juice. Yeah, I ain't made no fancy chili. And yet. some noodles. Oh, yeah, you gotta have the noodles in there too. That just makes it all slurpy and fun. So, but you can make it with or without the noodles, and you could make it um, with or without the beans. So, depending upon your taste. Okay. Now, Justin. Now they're whispering. It's not nice to whisper. Well, I was trying to explain, and he's asking what the lights are for, and you oh, explain so it. Oh, so that everybody can see what I'm doing. Yeah, um, everybody can nice see and bright. Nice and bright, and see what she's doing, and where she's doing it, and how she's doing it. But we're talking about how wonderful I am. And, Boo, yeah. cornbread! You didn't. I didn't get. I didn't know. I didn't get no more cornbread. You didn't so. get no more cornbreads. That was not on my list. I forgot chocolatey shake things. I Especially did not you didn't get, get that. my spam either, did you? Oh, hell no. I did not get that. I don't do spam and meat, baby. I can't do it. I cannot even pick up to buy spam. I can't. My hand, my body won't do it. It, <laughs> it won't do it. Oh, God, that's so nasty. I can't even think about it. That's good stuff. It's not good stuff. It's gross. See, the whole empty, the... Hubbard's kind of thing turns into like a soup for me and um, like a goulash type silly. Oh, okay. And that's when you sling everything. You got leftover veg, leftover meat. Uh, I had it when I was young and now I got to have it all the time. I like it. I'm still poor uh, in heart. I mean, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's ooh. meat should not be canned. I just can't. I cannot get past that. I just don't like the smell of it. I don't, I don't like anything about it. Maybe I'm traumatized from my childhood, but ooh, I just can't do it. Oh, well, yeah, that I can't stay. Ramen noodles about make me want to gag too. Because I mean, time we've I been there, done that. If I go to penitentiary, <laughs> let's not go there. Let's well, not, but I'm trying not to. Keep messing with me. <laughs> well, tighten you up, girl. Fried spam with spicy mustard makes a nice sandwich. Yes. Yeah, so, ramen noodles are vile, Sam. They are, oh my God. That's why I'm going to make so. Ramen noodles are great. Mm, I'm going to make so. No. I take some ramen noodles and cheese and make y'all heck for a burrito. <laughs> no. Don't make me a burrito. Ooh, get out of here. You go. You break out with me. Hey, you may want to pick up a pack of I don't want none of these seriously. backwoods country burrito things. That's no, not backwoods country. Jail burritos. That's jail burritos. Jail burritos. Jail burritos. Jail burritos. Jail burritos. Yeah. I don't want that either. I'm, like some old beef I'm on the outside. Some old beef sticks and Cheetos. And, yeah. That doesn't sound good, baby. All oh, right, my God. Melt mouth. That sounds horrible. You get some toilet water and heat it up. Yeah. It's good stuff. I mean, I have been, we had been at a point, you know, in my younger years where I survived off of a lot of ramen noodles. I think I just had too, too much of it because I just can't, I can't do it anymore. Well, it that turns was because you were rich. We had to do beans. To and think about it. It turns my stomach. We had soup, beans, and bologna. Ooh. <laughs> bologna. Bologna. There's an A in that word, baby. No, there ain't. Baloney. Baloney has a first name. Did your baloney have a first name? I take some spam, fry some spam with some eggs, and then, uh, oh man, some cheese. That's some good stuff. Some fried taters. Love me some fried taters. I don't know what to call you, Alec. <laughs> Try spam because it can be edible. Can chili at the store? Ugh. Fried taters. Oh, we don't do canned chili. That's bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let me start to come up in here a little bit, probably. 
sponsors would you be open the door? Is it not like the gates of hell anymore, baby? Right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad right. I could accommodate. I'm going in. Okay. Take shower, clean up, and get clean. Do some uh, dinner. You can call me Andy. Oh, there's a female Andy. Hello, Andy. Huh? I will try to remember that. Not you, baby. I'm talking to her, Andy. Hold Andy up. with two E's mm -hmm. instead of Andy with an I E. I don't do Andy with an I E. That's why I said instead of crazy. Alright. Now we can darken up this brown a little bit more. I like the name though. You gotta love it. She <laughs> must be perfect. She must be perfect. Hey now, don't you get no ideas? That's my mom. No. <laughs> really upsetting that we tend to have tight budgets and all the cheap foods are carb based and I'm that carb based and I'm diabetic. Yeah, the cheap foods are crap. Like we've recently stopped buying a lot of canned crap and gotten a lot more fresh and it is more expensive to eat that way, but it's just so much better. Thank you. I'm Bye. not shaving again for about another two years. Andy won't shave his beard off. I'm going to have to cut it off in his sleep. I don't like that. No. We will send you a picture and you will see I look much better. With he the looks beard. scruffy, is what he looks. That's what he looks. He looks scruffy. I, he told me he was going to grow it out for the whole next year. And I said, No, he's not. Um, I will cut it off in your sleep. I can't do it. Like all manly man and everything, but it's scruffy and I don't like it. Uh, bigger beards are nasty. See, I don't like them. The healthy college cookbook is the tomato on the cover and lots of quick, cheap, easy recipes. See, and see, that's the thing that people don't understand. You can really do a lot with fairly minimal ingredients and get by like chili or whatever the beans are really inexpensive um when you buy like fresh and then you got you know some ketchup some mustard a couple of little packets of seasoning and you can really go a long way with some herbs and some spices to make things like that so i mean i can feed this hoard for less than 20 bucks in a meal um chili i can pretty much do for 10 maybe 15 since we added a very large mouth onto the onto the <laughs> deck but i mean it's just i don't know you it's surprising what you can how far you can get with 20 bucks and how many people you can really feed on fresh ingredients so i mean i have been pleasantly surprised by that as well because I didn't think that we were going to get nearly as far going with the less canned option. But it's, so far, it's not too, too bad. All right. One can mild chili beans. Keep the carbs down. Like I said, you don't even need that. Um, Like the hamburger, the minced, the minced burger is um, like the the most expensive part of the chili because the rest of it's just tomato juice i mean and seasoning that is literally all we put in it and it's freaking awesome i mean i could eat it all the time i really could so and if you don't need that much meat because you're only feeding like one person it's really inexpensive and if you don't want the carbs from the beans then you just save some more money Oh my God, you! <laughs> I just looked up to read the comments, and all I saw was Sam telling someone to wax that. <laughs> oh God! Oh, my mind went straight to a bad place. It's hard to remember our options. Oh, right, go get you one of those little um eyebrow facial hair trimmer thingies. Hello, Brittany. Oh, Brittany's in North Carolina, like me, over in um Charlotte-ish. I remember that. See, ground turkey from Aldi's, cheap. Oh, 
I really have no idea what I'm doing. Now I'm just talking to y'all and winging it. I really am. That cheek needs to be a little bit darker than this cheek. Anyways, it's further away. In my opinion. All right. <laughs> my sister calls me, um, instead of letterer, it is calligrapherologist or whatever. I'm a doctor of calligraphy, apparently, and that's her word for it. A calligrapherologist. Not a real word. Uh, really not a real thing. So, but that's that's her word for it. I told you she's crazy, though. Oh, seven week. Oh, congratulations on the new baby. That's so stinking cute. I thought my puppies were cute, but I love babies. I love baby anything. How's the paper holding up? Oh, so far so good. Nothing back there. Nothing. I think there's a stink bug in here. I can hear a bug at 50 feet. I can tell you that right now. I don't do bugs. Calligraphologist, yes. Love it. That's what I am. All right, now he needs a super dark nose. So I'm going to use this dark brown again. I love this paper. I can't even rave enough about this paper. Bonnie at freaking Archer and Olives needs to tell me where I can find just this paper. So that I can use it for junk journals too, because I stink and love it. I don't think she's gonna tell me. People are so stinking secretive with their stuff though. I mean, and I can understand to a certain extent, but I'm not like that. I'm like, here, let me tell you everything I know about everything, which is fine for me, I guess. Because I mean, like a bajillion people make stickers, but people are still like crazy crazy weird about where they get their sticker paper and things like that and who makes their sticky notes i'm like honey i'm not making the exact same sticky note that you're making i'm making my own sticky notes with my own designs on it so i can't help if mine's is better than yours but you know be you <laughs> uh but yeah people are like crazy i'm just not like that i don't know i don't have that competitive nature that Everybody in this field seems to have. I have a more let's build each other up sort of nature, and that just doesn't drive real well with most people, I don't guess. I could sit here and work on this for like hours. Like, I'm not even kidding y'all. I think we're going to have to wrap it up soon. I would be here forever tweaking this. I have learned something about myself, though, and I'm trying to overcome it with watercolor and just coloring things in general. I am slow, slow, slow to build up color on anything. Like, I'm almost afraid of contrast until I start to get some contrast in there, 
And then when it starts to look okay, my confidence builds up. I am afraid of color. My name is Amanda, and I am afraid of color in contrast. Oh, his nose started bleeding into his face. It'll be okay. Uh, now I'm not looking at the comments anymore. I've been wanting to know. Do you still have the paper like screen on your iPad? If so, does it help? Um, yeah, I just have a basic matte thing on my iPad, just a basic matte um screen protector, and that's what makes it feel more like paper on my iPad. So, yes, it is still there. Um, oh, thank you, Sam. Hello, Donna. Oh, well, we are excited for you. Um, yeah, because we love it. This is what we do. I need to get this. Um, now my walrus looks like he's got bugs. He's got bugs coming out of his nose because it's all blendy and whatnot. It's fine. I don't have, see, you know what, and I, I mean, I do to a certain extent, but I'm, it's like I'm scared to put it there, um, Sam, people's screens are flashing, that's nice, Donna, you should do the, um, you should oil paint and follow Bob Ross, because that's what I did, and I was pleasantly surprised with my skill level <laughs> on the second go-round. On the first go round, I was not surprised, but the second go round got like hella better. It was it was so much better than the first go round. Blot it with a paper towel. It's so small. He looks like he's got boogies, brown boogies coming out of his nose. I don't know what that could be. I'm telling y'all, YouTube is like flipping out. That's not me. That can't be me. Come here, boogie. Such a little space. No, oh, he's fuzzy. It'll be okay. We're going to call it fuzz. My walrus is boogers. There we go. But see how much better he looks now since he's got a little bit more contrast? Like his belly's starting to look a little bit, you know, fuller. And his little teeth start your tusky things start to look like they're a little bit in front of his body now because um you know it's got some shading behind it but i'm like scared to death to start putting it down because i don't know what i'm doing with the watercolor um so it really does it scares me even on digital when i know that i can sit back and undo the crap it like freaks me out and so i just build up slowly like little by little by little and then I start to gain confidence as I go. So that's what I, I think I'm going to work on my color, my coloring and my painting a lot this year and really getting in there. Because things wouldn't take me half as long as they take me now if I would just trust that it'll come out okay or not be scared to fail because that was the other thing. I mean, because so what if you have to start over, right? I mean, I understand if you put a lot of work into something and you mess it up there towards the very end, but hey, that's part of art. You gotta, you have to, I guess, be willing to mess up a little. And I'm not 100% ready to do that half the time. So. I don't know. He might be almost done, though. I'm going to have to stop playing with him. Just draw with watercolor pencils and then take a water brush to it. See, there you go. I would be better with pencil. So. There you go. April has it. There are no mistakes in art. That is 100% correct. And he, he needs like a little hint of color in his tusks to make them look nice and round. So, let's see if I got some gray on here. Not really, because there's zero paint on this brush, but whatever. Uh, 
I don't want much. I think. There we go. And then I need to clean that out. See, that would be almost too dark for me, but then you blend it out, you blend it out, and then when it dries, it's lighter anyway, so. Here we go. I think that might do it. See, but there's no way I could have done that in the Scribbles at Matter or any other journal that I've used so far. Um, there's no way that I could have done it. It's not there. It's really not there. Um, I can tell you that I can see a faint, faint outline on the back of this page right here on this bottom thing. And I can tell you why that is because the gelato is there too. And it reacts slightly differently than watercolor does with, um, with water on any type of paper. I have noticed that. Um, but it only happens where, where there is, um, water and gelato it's only that very very and it's not even bled through and i don't think it'll show up when it's dry but it's still wet but there's nothing there on the back of the page i'm so stinking excited about this book okay what did i miss i'm raving about the book again so in the beginning of 2019 tuesday is an art video um tuesday's video I don't know. Um, you mean Tuesdays in general? Oh, I get your friend request, Amy. I will accept it after the live, and you can send me those recipes. Awesome. Um, I don't know. I want sort of like a whole month laid out, and so some of them will be. Um, oh, yeah, they got you, Archer and Olive. Um, some of them will be artsy type videos, and we'll go through painting, watercolor. Um, gelatos uh junk journals art journal stuff like that and then some you know we'll still have the regular bullet journal stuff thrown in there as well the plan with me the sub sampler reveals will be on there each month where you see what's in the sampler boxes um those will still be there uh reviews on pens and journals and stuff will still be in here and i'll swatch out new watercolor still have to get me that other set of I might have to break my nose spin today so that I don't have to put it on um on my new thing I might have to break my new, uh, nose spin between today and tomorrow and get the watercolors that I want and to get that new journal um so that I could test out oh thank you um but Tuesday this Tuesday's video like I said will be the um setup of happy new year and this 2019 words of the day spread so you'll see both of those oh we didn't finish the um savings tracker i'm trying to make sure that he gets all dry before i go flipping things over on him he needs a little bit of a highlight in his eyeballs let's do that while we're waiting give him a little light in his eyes a little light a little there in his nose just a little bit running down his teeth. Okay. I'm probably the only one that can see that. Will there be a sticker of the walrus? I can make a sticker of the walrus. I can definitely do that. Oh, I love it. I'm going to do a different animal each week so y'all vote on what animal y'all want to see next week whichever arctic animal gets the most votes um will be on next week's hello there's another andy there's lots of andy's in here i'm still working on what i'm going to video on my channel oh it takes a little <laughs> It's it's trial and error, um, honestly, um, April. You just go with whatever feels right. and People will watch it. It happens. 
oh this <laughs> the savings tracker um that's what be dry walrus so that i could turn the page i think you're he's pretty much dry ish i don't want to turn my heat gun on he's not dry <laughs> not knowing what you're doing with Shaden that looks great oh well thank you I tried to make him look like he's got some depth I don't know let's I'm gonna try to flip so that was my piggy bank so you can see me set him up in the 2019 setup videos and I gotta start over with my savings because I gave the plumbers that all last week and then my patrons got to see this setup which will also be a printable I'm gonna work on tonight and tomorrow so that I have it ready for the new year i need to finish the title only it i need to finish the you gotta go to jail person over there the cop and then i need to color in the the little um tops of all these little squares but this is my savings tracker for 2019 and i'm gonna play i'm gonna roll the dice each friday in the vlog and um in the daily bullets vlog and i'll, I'll update this as i go on fridays and so if anybody wants to get that and print it out and use it or make a copy of their own and use it you can play with me on friday so so much fun but my walrus isn't dry yet and i don't want him bleeding on the other page otherwise he's done i think we're gonna wrap it up because we've been here for two hours now and um yeah i'm gonna put the three projects here i'm going to fill this in um with all my tasks and stuff and then that will be that will be my week i think i'm done see and that's what i wanted donna um i wanted something fun because i knew if it was just your generic um savings tracker which i think i'm also going to do i'm going to put him here uh, uh like either the penny a day or the where you save a dollar for each one of the weeks or whatever but you can mix and match like if on week two you've got 52 dollars, you can use the 52 but you can only use it once and that way you leave the ones that are like one dollar and really really low amounts to on um, weeks where things are tight i might i'm going to do one of those on this page and then this one is just fun, but I kept the the amounts on most of the squares pretty low so that I could do both. But so this would keep me engaged, so to speak, because I'll stop doing it if it's not fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even close to kidding. We'll play once a month then, Donna. Like roll four times once a month. Like do your four, you know, however many weeks are in your month do all your roles in um at one time do that i don't know because you would be saving the same amount no matter what or sam is doing the penny a day where you um do your pennies and then you could do all your pennies at one time you have like 667 dollars at the end of the year and some odd cents i don't know about but now I'm just talking. I'm just running my mouth now. <laughs> I'm waiting on water going to dry. Just sitting around chilling. Okay, you really want the walrus. Well, I will make a sticker of the walrus. I promise. I'll make him a little die cut or something. Maybe I can make a few of them. He's so stinking cute. all right y'all i think yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up this is gonna dry i'm gonna go finish my savings tracker um once he does dry and i will put the pictures up on uh instagram y'all will see them um sometimes you you know you are right donna the the heat gun does change the way that the watercolor looks some so i don't like to use it if i don't have to that's why i'm just kind of sitting around chit-chatting but um and it pushes colors around too but yes uh every friday um sam i will do the bye mary 
um, I will do the um, Monopoly thing and I will, if the printable is not up tonight or if I don't have it made up tonight, which now that I've got the layout, it should be nice and easy for me to set up digitally. Um, then I'm going to do it while I'm waiting on this, these doctor's appointments tomorrow because I take my iPad with me and I color. Um, not on Instagram. Um, my Instagram automatically saves to the um, to my Facebook page, like the fan page sort of page, not my actual page, like my the one that says Amanda Moon, but the one that says Eclectic Scribbles, you know, slash Bullet Journal Junkie. Everything that I save to Instagram goes into that uh, Facebook feed, so you can see it on either one, if that made sense. that just ran all over the place whoopsie i'm an impatient person i cannot stand it <laughs> i'm so impatient all right y'all i really appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out with me today it was lots and lots of fun oh i threw the top of this down on the floor somewhere i threw everything in the floor today there's a dr pepper across the room from me um oh crap i forgot oh my goodness thank you um, I, what game do we want to play? I don't know. Um, we need a game so that I can give this happy planner away. Ah, oh, see, I've got the memory of a 90 year old with Alzheimer's. Um, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh my God. Um, I need a game. Doesn't have to be a difficult game because everybody's leaving. I mean, it could be something as simple as pick a number. Let me, oh, I can write down a number between 1 and 50. Um, or how about 1 and 100 so that we don't get a whole lot of duplicates. I'm going to pick a number. Right now, before I look up and people start guessing, I wrote it down on my piece of paper right there. So y'all can't see it. <laughs> and whoever gets the closest without going over, and if you're a duplicate, you need to guess first, um, gets the Happy Planner Plus accessory. All right, I'll give everybody a second to get their guesses in. Oh my gosh, y'all are so close. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> so thinking gets exciting. All right, how many numbers is that? One, two, three, four, five. 13. That's most of you. Oh, see, this is where the lurkers. Hey, Lori, I didn't even know you were in here. <laughs> Haley, just Jen. This is where all my lurkers start to to pop up. Oh, hello, everybody. Hi. All right. Is that all our guesses? I think that might be all of our guesses. And whoever didn't guess just doesn't like happy planners, which is fine. All right, so da, 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 the number was 73, and it looks like Donna, Donna won. It looks like Donna. Oh, you lucky duck. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're watching on your TV, so you can't talk to me. Well, it's good to know that you are here anyway. And I love your face, even if you don't talk to me. Brittany went over, though. See, you couldn't go over. So it's going to have to. I think it's, y'all check behind me, but I think Donna's closest without going over. I know you reversed it. All right. So you get the Happy Planner minus one page. <laughs> <laughs> the um pocket folders there are six look at that those are pretty see i buy these things because they're pretty you get 
the three dashboards and these little notes pages that are all kinds of pretty and match the colors. So see, it pays to be on the lives. Um, Donna, uh, if you find me on Facebook, Instagram, I used to know to Instagram, find me on Facebook and send me, um, a message with your address and I will send it to you. All right, there we go. So, all right. Yeah. Now I'm like, super hungry and that chili sounded awesome um so i will see y'all again uh next week i will be back here at three o'clock again and i will i'm always here you know five days a week during the vlog you know health and sanity permitting but uh <laughs> um and that was fun we might have to do that again i got all kinds of stuff here we can totally do that <laughs> again sometime that was awesome I loved it. All right. Um, I didn't get a studio vlog up yet. I keep talking. Like, I keep saying goodbye, and then I keep talking. Um, I didn't get the studio vlog up yesterday because I split it. And the last few days, I don't think I did anything interesting. But I will check the footage again, and I may post that, or I may just combine this week and last week. All right. I love you faces. Y'all have a fantastic freaking week. Happy New Year to everybody. If I don't really talk to y'all before then or if you don't happen to watch the Daily Bullet Journal vlog. And um, we'll see you here next week. Bye, everybody. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it, Donna. <laughs>